Aborigines call him the Devil Devil Man. Doctors and scientists call him a medical miracle. He's been bitten more times than any man on earth by venomous snakes. 146 times, in fact, and lived. He's been bitten by the most poisonous snake alive, the inland taipan, twice. Graham Gow is also called very lucky. One of the largest, rarest... And the Aborigines around Darwin like call him Devil Devil Man and treat him with respect. Paul Hogan oh, yeah. called him in to handle all the snakes in the Crocodile Dundee movies. And let's face it, less intrepid souls might just call him foolhardy. But 53-year-old Graham Gow sure knows and respects his snakes. And you understand that respect part when you visit his reptile park at Humpty Doo in the Northern Territory and discover how many times he's been bitten by venomous snakes. The snake that I've been bitten by most is the death adder. I've had 57 to the death adder. I've had 10 to the eastern taipan. Uh, I have, I've had two to the inland taipan. And uh, the others have broken up amongst uh, just about everything else, tigers, browns, blacks, you name it. I don't think there's anything that I haven't been bitten by. The grand total is 146 bites in the last 30 years. And we should mention that Graham's the kind of guy who only counts the potentially deadly ones. Really deadly ones, like tiger snakes. I still uh, unhesitatingly say that the closest I ever regard that I've been to death uh, was from a tiger snake bite. And uh, uh, I was only 24 years old at the time, super fit, super strong, and uh, I've no doubt that the same bite today I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't get through it. Just for the record, he's also the only Australian who survived a rattlesnake bite. That was when he was reptile curator at Sydney's Taronga Zoo. A rattler's dangerous enough, but not the most deadly snake in the world. That dubious honour, in fact, goes to an Australian, the inland taipan, the very snake that Graham's nursing now. A pretty remarkable scene, and even more remarkable when you remember that he's actually been bitten twice by an inland taipan, and the most serious bite the one he was really lucky to survive was inflicted by this little lady's mother. My bite was a kiss, what I'd term a kiss, in that she grabbed me, mistook me uh, for a mouse, and the reason for that was that I'd been handling dead mice and I had the smell of mouse urine on the hands, so she went straight to the source of the smell, realised she had the wrong thing and let go, so it was a kiss. Now that kiss took two years to get over, I have no hesitation in saying that if one of those hung on and chewed, or if that bite had to been a couple of seconds longer, I'd be a statistic. Almost the kiss of death, you might say. But if you're Graham Gow, nothing to get too worked up about. I can remember an off week that I had here, or the worst week that I've ever had, where I had two death out of bites earlier in the week, uh, one following the other, and I wasn't too flash with those, no anti-venom, I just put up with them as I normally do. Uh, and then I got bitten by a copperhead, uh, and that's major drama, that was. And I just um, started to get over that. I had about 12 really bad hours after that bite, and I just started to get over that. And I got cleaned up by a blue-bellied black snake. But there's more to Graham Gow than the showman. On the serious side, he's published a couple of dozen scientific papers and five books about reptiles, and he's seen as a walking miracle by snakebite experts. He's a regular here at the Menzies School of Health Research in Darwin, where Dr Bart Curry has been able to study his unique resistance to what should be deadly snake venom. There's some evidence 
from some of the studies we've done that he may have a, a degree of immunity to some of the snakes that he's bitten by. However, the snakes are so potent, so powerful, our snakes in Australia, that, that it's not possible for him to have a full immunity. So he's still at risk of dying if he has a significant envenomation uh, and doesn't get appropriate treatment. But surely after all he's been through, Graham must have suffered some after effects. Well, he does admit it took him two years to fully recover from the brush with the taipan, the one he calls the kiss. Well, I started to disappear in size after that bite. Uh, I started to suffer uh, what I call muscle tissue death. So uh, where I could still pick up a besser block in each hand, where uh, five years ago I could walk up and down this block three times with them without putting them down. I'd be lucky to work, walk 30 feet with them before the muscles break down. So definitely muscle damage, see. 146 bites that could have killed a lesser man. Thousands more that he hasn't even bothered to register. And still, every day at Humpty Doo, you'll find Graham Gow, the devil devil man, with his 500 cold-blooded friends, some of the deadliest creatures on earth. It doesn't faze me uh, at all, although you never know whether 146 might be the one. It's my life. Uh, I couldn't live without my snakes. I wouldn't want to live without them. <laughs>